Tell us, tell us what we're doing here. What, what, what is all this? Welcome to Kind. Kind is a wonderful event. <laughs> uh, so we today we're at the Simply Bear booths. We also have 1964 right there beside. So we're from Rubicon Organics, uh, BC-based cannabis company. Uh, we have our own greenhouse in Delta, so just out of Vancouver. We grow everything organically in our own greenhouse. Um, you know, the, the difference between Simply Bear and 1964 is really what we're putting in market. So Simply Bear is focused on bringing new genetics to market. But again, everything is grown organically in living soil. Very important for us. Uh, no pesticide, no um, fertilizer, nothing chemical. 1964, on the other hand, is bringing the classic cultivar to market. So comatose, uh, super lemon haze, gelato 41, you know, the, the strains that people know and rely on and come back every day to smoke. So this is really the difference between our portfolio, the two big brands. Um, you know, it's cool because today we we're being uh, we're offering the uh, some uninfused lemonade to public because it was really hot before the rain started uh, and sampling our new Scotty Biscotti and then uh, Lime Mojito. So with the Lime Mojito, obviously, this is where the, uh, the lemonade comes from. On the 1964 side there, we've got um, two of our classic cultivars, uh, Super Lemonades and Gelato 41, as well as our new live rosin gummy. I got to tell you about this. It's really cool. So the, what, we're rarely first to market. Our strategy is, is not like to rush thing in market, but we try to be better to market. So what we do is we look around, we see what's being done, and we try to improve the offering in market. So for our um, new edibles, we decided to do single strain live rosin. So we match the flavor of the rosin to the flavor of the gummy. So we've got the tropical punch with the banana OG. We've got the Delicious. strawberry cough with wa strawberry watermelon, the pink kush with the pink lemonade. So really mixing the flavor because rosin gives you the full edible, full spectrum experience. And on top of that, it's, um, it's pectin based. So it's gluten free vegan really we're trying to um, tick all the boxes gluten free and vegan let's go wow i mean we're we talk trying to get everybody to be able to enjoy those gummies we, we talked a lot about health and wellness earlier and that there you go it doesn't get more healthy than that all right so um, as a director of marketing yep. at one of the top brands um both on both sides or you know one of the top companies in rubicon how do you build a how do you build a brand in weed for us, it's been pretty simple. We're consumer first, right? So one thing we've done um, is really look into what consumers want. We invest quite a bit of money in research. So we've run a uh, 3,000 people uh, Ipsos research to really understand what cannabis consumers are looking for and really have different cannabis consumers, target consumers, really well identified. And so everything we do is for these consumers. So we really spend a lot of time looking at research and really like in market so we do butt tender research we do consumer research and we really want to understand what people want and we craft our portfolio based on those needs right so we don't go the other way around where we're offering things and try to find the uh, people who want what we offer is we understand who buys our product and then we make sure that we craft our portfolio based on the demands and the needs of these people so that's really why we this really like a big focus for us we also have something that's really cool as a, uh, and I found really unique. So I come from, you know, the cigarette world and the booze world and very established, I would say, highly regulated CPG companies. But cannabis is a new and emerging company, uh, like industry. And one thing that we've done really well, I think, at Rubicon is to uh, mirror, uh, to work with some very experienced legacy people so in our greenhouse and you know our director of cannabis and they're all people that understand the cannabis culture to come from the legacy world and then we have the front of the house so sales and marketing were more cpg and really marrying those two skill sets so understanding understanding cannabis understanding the consumer through years and years of experience and on the other side understanding how the government and ocs you know are want to be talked to and then you know they want to be presented for with new products marrying those two skills have really been beneficial for us so that's how we've done it Tim. beautifully said well said appreciate you my man yeah. i love your cannabis i love your brand i love what you guys are doing appreciate you spending some time with me today